it right that's the main right i'm just recording it just so i can get used to this thing because there's a couple of interviews next week i want to do one with a lady who's been um mucked around by the system and she's now doing homeschooling uh -huh. and somebody else who does the uh um fresh produce and about oh, getting, right, okay. trying to avoid supermarkets and do things for well, the farmers well this this is the whole thing right so my my kind of strategy around this this thing that i'm trying to push at the moment the you know the the west exposure really is if you think about it like this from a strategy perspective i'm going to do a call on it this evening i'm going to do like the same presentation over multiple groups over the country mm -hmm. over the coming days um so idea really is is essentially if we can get people in their local areas to distribute this leaflet as a bare minimum or talk to people like Andy and everybody from Swindon went out the other night, they, they campaigned in two different areas. Yeah. And in both areas, they got over a hundred signatures in both areas. Right. So now all of those people that signed that petition can then go onto a residence association mailing list. Right. So now we've got 200 potential people that might be interested in watching, even if it's just that what small world economic forum clip with Boris Johnson. And it's, I can't believe that people haven't seen this clip because people are going, oh, that sounds like getting an AI robot. I'm like, no, oh, that's yeah. what he said. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But then if you think about it beyond that, if people got themselves organised in their local area, what's going to happen is if we can create a database of all like these food movements and stuff like that that's going on or homeschooling or all of these types of things, because what we're, what we're experiencing right now is the collapse of civilization. Pretty so, much, yeah. Yeah. So what we need to do is just be prepared for that. And if we get people, these communities going and people are now become more aware of who the World Economic Forum are, et cetera, then they can make their own choice if they're in agreement with it or not. You know, so yeah. if we can do that and then we can link up and see where the gaps are within the feed supply across the country or gaps in homeschooling or gaps in you know we've got we'll have new volunteers or new people that want to get on board and new people that will then form these communities that then they can learn from others all across the nation as well or even global globally you know what i mean so yeah, totally. um you know so it's it's very much a case of being organized and that's why i want to kind of like tap in now to as many residents associations or groups or whatever that would be interested in that because beyond that we can create a like a wider sort of like right okay we've got bristol food supply in um, bristol let's just say for an example and then we've got might have the next one would be in birmingham or you know we just don't know but if we can link all of those dots together so the strategy piece really would be to sit with people um you know like let's just say your your area for an example you've got somebody doing all the food supply down in there and then if we can see where the gaps are across the country, I reckon that we would be able Well, I've lost your first year. The key uh, part of that is to expose who they are. Right, Very okay. simple. I lost you for a brief while there. For a little while oh, did you, you? Was, for a little while you was <laughs> mouth open like a ventriloquist. And then and then it just went blank, but you're back now. Oh, I'm back now. What what bit did you get up to? I'm probably boring you, Chris. So <laughs> up to where the uh, the the bit where you were saying about people in their own areas. Oh right, okay, yeah. So, so funnily enough, I I do get cut off quite a lot. By the way, just to make you aware of that, so I get cut off quite frequently. It's quite a common occurrence these days. But yeah, so if if, if people if people went out and campaigned like the Swindon lot, got all these signatures, they then got a database, so you can then share the World Economic Forum explainer video with them. And then if people wake up from that experience, then what they then can do is know that there are people locally. Yeah. And then that also gives makes them larger in numbers. So people, more people that become aware of this, the more people, the stronger the pushback is. So even if it's like a masked objection, for an example, mm -hmm. and they're not in agreement with it, you can just email one distribution list and go, right, we've got a new uh, mask going up in this area, which put in an objection. Can you please, um, sorry, I've got somebody keep on calling me. Um, <clears throat> 
you can put in a, you can just send it out to all your distribution lists um in your local area or even on a national level as well so then we break it down even further for the people that are doing specializing in you know child sex trafficking or lgbt stuff or as to whether you know um whatever that might be food supply all of these kind of things and if people took you know came forward and sort of said right okay I'm a specialist in mental health let's just say for an example I'm a specialist in mental health and then all the people that woke up to after watching this they want to know that there's a community of people around them because I know that I freaked out when I awakened to this tyrannical takeover right so I, 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 I literally did you know and I think it's very common for people to do that so Therefore, you know, if you know that you've got that community and that support around you, it's going to help soften the blow, essentially, isn't it? You know, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Have you? Are you so, noticing more and more people waking up to this? N- n- no, that's why I feel like we need to give it a push because I feel like we're. I feel like we're in the part in the constellation now where we are the divine intervention that's required, and that's and that's what we need to remember ourselves that mm. we are we are the divine intervention more than likely you know um, we're the light bearers yeah we're the we're the bearers of the light we're the warriors of the light you know and 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 we are in 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 acquiescence we are um we are holding the pillars of the earth right now that's 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 the truth of the matter and and really and truly the whole world is reliant upon people like us and, it, and, and and if, like, you know, people do watch that World Economic Forum video, then they've got their own choice to make beyond that. They know the truth. Yeah. And they've got their own, you know, so we're just doing this off of our own volition. Do, do you agree? You know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, entirely definitely. up to you. Yeah, you know? that's right. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think a lot yeah. of people, I mean, my brother, for example, he's, oh, it's such a disappointment. Um. You know, we'll talk about things and I'll send him links and he'll say, oh, yeah, you're getting your facts from YouTube. You know, unless it comes from, like, establishments or peer-reviewed papers, he's not really that interested. He just looks at everything as being a... But then he's all to the hill. Yeah, yeah. Um, But, you know, what about all the scientists that are against this and all the scientists, especially with, like, the, the climate change? (laughs) <laughs> there's there's quite a few scientists that are dead against it. Um, I even I even posted a clip on my YouTube channel yesterday of the um, founder of the Greenpeace, and he's saying, "Look, there's there's no evidence that there's a crisis. There's there's absolutely no data to suggest." And that came su- from Greenpeace, did it really? I don't know. I don't okay. know if he. I don't know if he's still part of Greenpeace, but he was one of the co-founders of Greenpeace. Right. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Dr. Patrick Moore. Because the the Labour Party have come out, on the other hand, the Labour Party have come out saying that net zero is nature. Yeah. So they've inverted the the meaning of nature now, saying that, you know, nature is now net zero, etc. So that's what they've come out, and that's our new pledge to the nation, yeah. Which Uh is complete and utter tosh, because we all know that we need carbon to create life. Carbon is the gas of life. That's why well, we back are the in the prehistoric it... days with the volcanoes going off, yeah. you had mass, you know, um, plants grew massively. Even humans were bigger. And it's because there was so <laughs> much more carbon in the air. There's, there's, <laughs> only, there's only four, what was it, 0.4 percent of the atmosphere is made up of carbon monoxide and it's a fact that if we drop below 0.02 that's it and 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 this is where like you know we are the carbon that they want to get rid of of course we are you you know and that is simply put you know in, in in a nutshell and then you get people like Dyson who have created these, like so they, they've created these masks. They look really satanic, by the way. And I don't know if you've seen them. But anyway, they go from your 
ears and they go all across your mouth and your nose so you can't talk to anybody and then it goes that way and they're, they're like headphones but it's like an overall sort of like around your face kind of thing but yeah, with yeah, your yeah. you know with all of this covered saying it's a breathing apparatus so you know, are they expecting an air shortage? Because really and truly, let's just give it an example, and I hate to say this, but there is the potentiality for the um, 5G towers, if they were turned up, for an example, there is a potentiality that that could create a shortage of airflow, right? So therefore, that could create then the illusion of the climate crisis alongside various other things, you know, that could give that impression you see so as we know you have to show the people yeah. and and that and that is what i really want to focus on right now is showing people and i mean we're not going to get everybody there's no way but i want to just show need them. to get enough yeah exactly that's it's exactly that, it's that old adage which is one of my favorite sayings is oh what can i do i'm just one person said uh, seven billion people Eight, uh, yeah, it said uh, seven. I think it was eight billion. I remember posting it, it on billion? the channel. Might be eight yeah, billion. yeah, my, I remember. I love that. Really Whoever yeah. wrote that, right, was just a genius because I just thought, you know what, I'm going to post that on the channel one day because I thought I want everybody to be reminded, you know, sure. of how powerful we are. And that's why our voices are being suppressed because we're being governed by a handful of people. Absolutely. And if. And if the masses are completely unaware, then let's make them aware and then they can make their own choice. Very simple. Yeah, you know, do you totally. do you still agree with us? Because look what you did down in your area. Like literally, you told me you leave your, the whole area. Now, can you imagine if we did the same exercise across the country, everybody doing that in their area, giving them the leaflets, speaking to them, saying, do you want to be on a mailing list? It just takes a couple of people to start this. They watch a couple of clips. And then literally they can make their own mind up if they're in agreement with yeah. them. That's Very right. simple. I, mean, I think I said to you yesterday or whatever it was that, that I, I know somebody in Norwich and they're opposing the LTNs being done there. And he wants, right. to, he wants to get about 50,000 leaflets printed up and distributed from as far as Great Yarmouth, which is a seaside town, um, all the way through Norwich to just raise awareness for them to get their say have their say so that's yeah. quite a big that's quite a big uh campaign well yeah exactly and i mean if they if he wants to add the world economic forum clip into that as well you know and add it onto a database what what then could happen is all of norwich could then start to become awake to what's that's happening true. you know i also Honestly. have i also have somebody um within our group who is very clever, he's got loads of IT experience and he can literally set you up a website which isn't linked to any of the big platforms. So it's he's got a set his own server at his house. So they can't I take see. it so they can't take it down. Oh my god. So that god. might that might be it might be worth me um connecting you two up for that. Yes, I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why, Chris, right? So what's happening is I've noticed now that the, the National Resident Association website, funnily enough, has been hidden. Yes, yes, yes. You can't yeah, find it. I saw that it. on your interview, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So that would be a wonderful conversation to have, Chris, because that worries me, really. He can literally, people... he can literally, well, he said he's done it. He can literally do um, a, like a Facebook, a, a social okay. thing. Yeah. Where obviously there's no censorship and nobody can fact check you and nobody because it's totally private. Interesting. I like that. I I would I would be very grateful for that conversation well, yeah, because I'll pass, I'll pass you know your, his details onto you. Thank you very very much. I must get in contact with your other friend as well. I just haven't had time over the oh, last few days, but I will. Yeah, I will. I will. No, 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 that's cool. I will. Um, because that's very important as well but everything feeds into one another and I think that you know if we if we can expose the world economic forum for who they are then the people have the choice there afterwards and we can talk to them about all these LGBT child sex trafficking all of these issues that we are currently presented with you know the net zero agenda everything goes back to the same people everything does it do <laughs> yeah so it's you know insane. it's insane yeah 
Absolutely. I just, I'm sick of it. Basically, I'm sick of it, Chris. And I, you know, and I just feel like, you know, with your your friends and you know, I've had the same experience. With my family, like family members, thinking I, you know, jobs they pushed me out because I, I was a so called nut job who had mental health problems, all of these kind of things and whatever, right? And actually, it transpires everything I've said back then has now started to come into fruition funnily enough Chris isn't that yeah. strange David you know? Ike had so... the same issue didn't he did he well yeah everyone was branding him a nut job and uh, well, he's, yeah. he's, he's done 30 years of um, predicting so he's either a, <laughs> he's either a psychic or he just <laughs> understands what the plan is because yeah. like he says it's easy to what does he say it's easy to know the outcome when you can see along the journey yeah so you said yeah that that's happening because of this to lead to that so where most people would view all these weird things going on around the globe as just weird um oddities when yeah. you know what the outcome is you can spot the you can spot it along the journey ah oh, well that's because of this or well, they're doing that because of that it's... And th and this is why I reckon you should send that mini clip and not tell your brother that you made that. I think you, you should send it to him and say, "What do you think of this?" He'd probably just say "nut job." <laughs> well, no, 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 no. And then send him the longer video. Do you know what I mean? Just say, "Look, mm. if you got, you know." But it's it's it's, and then send him the clip of Boris Johnson actually saying that. Just send him that clip because that's what we have to do. You see, I, I found now that in in essence, really, if it doesn't come from me to my family, it's better. You know, mm. that's the problem that we're dealing with here. So if it's somebody else, I think it's because they don't want to see your family member and they and they instantly start getting their back up like, oh, you might have mental health problems or all of these kind of things, you know. And 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 that is what we're dealing with, isn't it? So that's why we Pretty have much. to show people. We have to show them. And I yeah. loved the way that clip came out. I mean, that was just amazing. <laughs> Because you're showing people yeah. who are limited on time, who think it doesn't affect their lives, so they just carry on. But when they can't go on their holiday to the Costa del Sol this year or whatever, because they have no money and they're being confined in their local area or whatever, you know. I mean, you've only got to look on the um, government website and it tells you that the plan is to close all airports in the UK bar one. <laughs> I know. You know, I know, they tell you they want to. They want to ban all imports, and 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 they're telling you because they have part of the natural laws of the universe is to tell you, right? So it's you know to for them to bypass karmic debt, they have to tell you. So it doesn't matter how they tell you, as long as they tell you. You see, this is sure. this is what they're doing. So this is why they get people like Greta coming out, telling you things and, you know, all of these. It's just, a, it, I call it politrix it's, yeah, it's because yeah. it's a trick. That's what, mine, mine, it mine's similar, it's politics. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, same I outcome. I like that. Same outcome. Politrix, it's just a trick through the tele vision, you know. It's, yeah. I mean, and, and parlement means speak lies. Yeah. And, and, and what, it, does gov what does government mean? It, no, I don't know. Mean? No, I don't know this one. Tell government me. Government is, well, govern, mind. Yep. It's ah. Greek, I think. So it's it's ah. control the mind. Right, lovely. Okay, that's a new one to add into my collection of many. I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's good. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But you see, you see, the thing is, it's conversations like this. We enlighten, we enlighten each other all the time. And that's and that's the beautiful thing about what's going on. So I guess we are like experts in the area of the cabal now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Whereas... definitely. That's that's the one good thing about COVID, really, is that I think it has brought a lot of people out of their their shell. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it has exposed a lot. Oh, because, there, because there's people who I never would have thought would have the same kind of view or stance is what I've got. But after COVID, they're like, yeah, this isn't right. And they might not be able to say why it isn't right, but it's been enough for them to set them on their own journey. Yeah. 
it, it's just like that. It's just like that moment somebody woke me up and it was like, I, I think I've been awake all my life, but I allowed myself to go back to sleep. Mm. You know, I like, I like a lot of us. And well, that's then like ignorance were... is bliss, isn't it? Literally. Yes. Well, now I've rebranded that, actually. So I, I say ignorance is no longer bliss. That's what I've said now. So that's, you know, because it's not, actually, you know, and that's that's the other thing that we're faced with at the moment is ignorance is no longer bliss. That's and right. I think because, the, because I think the not... trouble is so many people now are just, they're at that point where even if they kind of suspect things aren't right, which to any sane person is blatantly obvious, but they're just not prepared to have their whole mindset. The fact that their life has been a complete lie. And I think it's, they struggle to get around that. Yes. And that's why, so with my first project that I started, it was called Align. So it actually stands for Alliance of Liberty of Integrity for Great Nations. Now what happened was I was thinking about all of the strategy piece around like, you know, uh food chain supply mental health um 5g i was campaigning for all these different things and it was like every time i was trying to release a launch and, and schooling i had teachers from all over the school all, all over the country sorry that were ready quite kind of you know to step up and sort of like help people um mm -hmm. all around the country educate their kids at home so um yeah i was spiritually attacked and i was very unwise at the time as to how to deal with these spiritual attacks you see because they come in and that's another topic that people don't really understand enough about and I think that that's extremely important to start ex explaining that from a spiritual angle really you know and I had like holistic um sort of movement going on medical everything you know I had everything going on but it was just like we just couldn't come to that release stage it was like every time people would fall out with each other something like that and it, and it was so it was unbelievable. But if I knew, I, I guess, really, if I had known all that I'd known then to what I know now, it would be very different. And that would have probably, you know, but it doesn't mean to say that it can't happen because it's just bringing a network of people together. So I can kind of see yeah. a new way of trying to do that really now. Mm. No, that makes sense. I'll tell you what, also, um, <laughs> just kind of veering off that subject, I've, yeah. I've got a friend called Laura Nina, and she'd probably be very interested in giving you an interview. She's got a, a YouTube channel, but she does a lot on Facebook as well. And she's had, okay. some, in, she's had some interesting guests. So that might okay. be worth, yeah, if you're happy for me to pass partial credentials over to her. <laughs> yeah, if people do want to interview me, then that's fine. Yeah, I've got no problem with it no, at all. Good. No that's problem good. with it at all. It just all, helps cause... bring your exposure, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, I think, you know, because I want to get this, I just feel like, you know, now we're at the time time in the constellation where number one from a spiritual angle we have more power than um than what we sometimes know about yes. and i think now is time to kind of strike really from a you know populace you know people of like-minded backgrounds and like i think now is our chance to be the divine intervention that is actually genuinely required and give the people a choice because at the end of the day the whole nation goes back to do we consent right and if we don't consent then you know we we, we need to ask other people if they consent as well you know so if yeah, people sure. are still in that ignorant bliss of everything's fine I'm going to be going on my holiday and I'm going to be going wherever I want whenever I want and spending my money where I, you know and I'm allowed to go and live like a free sovereign being like they've been under the illusion for many years I think now is the time to show people right now yeah yeah definitely so if and I mean I mean if they've got nothing to hide then there's no problem you know if people are in agreement with this Chris and there's no problem is it really you know that's it yeah. I mean there's also I mean, you've also got the things that they want to bring in the C C D B Cs. Oh, sorry, C B D Cs. Oh, yeah. You know, it won't. It might be your money, but they'll still get to decide what you can spend it on. You know. Well, what they want to do, I don't know how much you know about this, but um, what they want to do. So, for an example, let's just say I went out to buy a pair of trainers with, um, I don't know, I wanted to buy a pair of trainers, and they'll say, "Oh, Cassie." Uh, the government has said, no, you're not allowed to buy potatoes this week because you bought a pair of trainers. So your carbon credits are going to equal yeah. X. That, yeah. 
and then so you won't be able to eat um yeah, right. you know that's that's where that that the severity of that could go and yeah, then... absolutely i mean there are some certain websites now that like if you want to book a holiday it would say what the carbon footprint is yeah and and then then and the bullshit thing about this excuse my language but it's so true because there's I bet you any money on my life that there is no sustainable, real, genuine, sustainable factors on that. I mean, I mean, I could be wrong and I'd love to be proven wrong about that. I would absolutely love to be proven wrong. But I can't see how the same flight, you know, from travelling from one airline to another airline is going to be sustainable all of a sudden. Can you? No, I can't see it. In fact, the worst way of flying is private jets. Yeah, exactly. I call them the self-proclaimed heroes of the hour. That's what the government are, self-proclaimed. I just want to emphasise that because they come out in their heroic status. And I remember on Facebook, I, I just, you know, had a normal page that I had for many, many years. And what happened was um, I started exposing uh, you-know-who. And um, it was so interesting because... I remember, you remember the the COP26 event, and I remember going, mm -hmm. oh, the eco warriors are out flying their private jets to um, to Davos, you know, just yeah, sort of, yeah. you know. Anyway, one day, I never got any bans, Chris, or anything like that, but one day I was getting all these phone calls going, Cassie, have you blocked me on Facebook? Have you <laughs> blocked? And I was like, what? What's going on? And I remember literally... They just said this account has been disabled. Took it down. Oh, really? Straight away. Yeah. No warning. No nothing. Yeah. Because I was exposing it, and I guess in a, a way that they weren't, they couldn't ban me. Like, they couldn't hide my, you know, you know what I mean? It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. It's just getting worse, though, isn't it, really? And it will. It will continue to get worse, yeah. And, and that's yeah. why we need people like my friend um, Rob, who can set up independent servers and because then they can't so that's definitely something i'm going to be looking into oh it's, it's critical right now it's critical yeah, because otherwise it's like you know what are we going to do you know um you know they've already told us that we can expect power cuts they've already told us that you know um we, we can expect all these things and you know like and, and another angle is with 5g just from a cost of living perspective i don't know if you're aware of this but it costs 72 to 75 houses worth of power to fuel one 5g mast right one now, when, yeah yeah so then you go and talk to people on their doorsteps which i've done myself you know as a trial and error kind of you know like wanted to test the waters and as soon as you do that and people know that they can't afford to pay for their bills, they've become very interested in the resident association then because obviously they want to know where their money's being spent and why they can't afford these things. But obviously now we've got a new 5G mask coming up here, there and everywhere, you know. So until you tell people, they don't know and they're none the wiser. Yeah, that's right. And so let what, alone what... all the health implications. Yeah, definitely. So what is your role in the... Um, residents association well i learned about the benefits of having a residents association i learned that it was it was somebody i was having a conversation with somebody at i can't remember a long time ago now and they said oh yeah residents associations have more clout over their councils and they have to take them more seriously so beyond that then i started to research it and i realized that actually that's very very true and what I noticed that was um, people were sending like um, freedom of information into their councils or notice of liability on a variety of different topics. So what happened was I was going, right, OK, we need to get people to set up that their residence association to give them that clout that they're looking for. So did that and uh, that I just thought, right, well, if we can do that all over the country and then we can be targeting our councils and people who are fighting this on their own independently in their area whilst they're trying to wake up other people, then perhaps, that you know, they can do it under the guise of a residence station and the councils don't know how big they are initially, you know what I mean, yeah. whilst they're sort of trying to grow. 
and um yeah so 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 all of that happened and that's why i set up the national residence association I was say, I thought, so you well, are you are the founding well yeah i guess I, well yeah, yeah if you want okay. to put it like that okay no yeah. that's cool no, yeah hats off to you because it's not an easy feat no but I've, I've given everybody the tools so like you know there's like a initial um kind of like you know presentation there for people to turn that into a video um you know tools to how to do it whether you want to go down like an official route or a non-official route that you know i've done it. everything's on the channel basically everything is on the channel um but yeah it's, it's like you know yeah just you know gone along with it over the whole journey really and like Swindon really paved the way for a lot of the country. A lot of people take inspiration from Swindon because there's a, a nice little team of them around there. And, you know, we've got like a little bit cheat channel and all different sorts of stuff. But I need to get some of it, lots of videos uploaded to the bit cheat channel. But yeah, apart from that, it's, uh, yeah, it's been, and then you've got like um, other areas like Sussex and you've got Kent and all various different places. Yeah. And Bournemouth um so yeah it's like linking all of these and now i'm I'm checking in with wolverhampton and birmingham so yeah there's right. lots of would you i mean would you be happy for me to put this comp depends on how it's turned out would you be happy for me to put this um conversation on my channel if you want to i wasn't expecting it to be an interview <laughs> oh no no it doesn't, yeah. it's, it's just yeah, no, it's fine. just good information really and people can yeah, listen right to what that. and then i'll put all the links of where they can find you in the description perfect so yeah no that'd be great yeah. Then, yeah yeah why not like let's do it because you know and like i i did well on that note though if if anybody does want to get involved in this national campaign um just to just to kind of come out with this really is you know we got one leaflet um but you know and and i can host calls to sort of like show the strategy piece i'm more than happy to do that if we can get a couple of people from a few different areas so that everybody can learn and sort of you know i'll bring the swindon team on because i like to use them because they're, they're such advocates for this mm -hmm. um so yeah more than happy more than happy and like you know if people are fighting this on your own let me tell you if you go under the guise of a resident association seriously you do start to have a stronger um voice of reason uh, with your council there, there's one uh, resident association that I know of <laughs> and uh, basically um, they, they're invited to every council meeting every council meeting so, so the council don't do anything you know and then if we get the strength in numbers like Swindon they went out and they campaigned the other night and like like I said they got 200 signatures in two different areas of Swindon so now if we put them on a mailing list and ask them if they wanted to keep in contact with us let them know about the world economic forum you know whatever um then you know more people are going to want to get involved and they want to going to want to help and support this this cause you know really yeah, to be honest with you just so and you know gonna... because sorry i was just saying just so you know because i'm a skin flint we've got one minute 45 seconds left before this interview or this um zoom thing goes bye so <laughs> I, I, That's in, case it, in, in case it cuts <laughs> off i did what this thing i've hung up on you <laughs> No, no, that's all right. No, thanks for letting me know because I'd have been like, you know, no I thought that I would have been thinking they would have cut me off again, you know. So that's, that's good. <laughs> no, I will probably have to upgrade to pro if we continue doing this. So, but no. <laughs> well, no, it's it's probably worth worth it after time. I would recommend, but yeah, yeah just definitely. on a final note though, if anybody does want to get involved in that, please drop us a line at the um, National Resident Association email address. Um, I I want to collate a list of different pockets around the country. Um, so that I can advertise people's email address. So let's just say they watch the video and now they're a bit concerned, then they can reach out to people locally. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be great. Like Yorkshire Residents Association, Sussex, Birmingham, you know, wherever. And if you want to create your own one, then let us know what your email address will be so that we can get people and I can advertise that on the channel. I can advertise that on the website and wherever else I need to do so. Well, that's brilliant. So, thank, thank you very much for the time chatting with thank me. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try and finish it before it cuts us off. So I'm happy to continue the conversation on the phone if you like. Uh, yeah. But for now, it's been great seeing you. And I hope this helps get your message out. Thank you. Because it needs so to much, get out. Chris. So it does. No problem. I uh, look you. forward to speaking to you soon. All right. Take All care. Right, Chris. You take care. See you later. See you later.
Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.